Join me as I dive into the world of ancient sound weapons and see if I can actually shatter stone with just sound. Throughout history, there have been tales of powerful sound weapons capable of shattering stone and destroying enemy fortresses. These ancient civilizations believed in the devastating power of sound, and it's fascinating to explore the stories and legends surrounding this concept. From mythical creatures to ancient gods, sound has been a part of human culture and warfare for centuries. The idea of sound as a weapon does seem a bit far-fetched, and many people are skeptical about its effectiveness. However, there's actually some science behind it. Sound waves are a form of pressure waves that can cause objects to vibrate, and if those vibrations are strong enough, they can cause damage. In fact, we've all experienced the power of sound waves firsthand. Think about the last time you were at a concert and the bass was so loud it felt like it was shaking your entire body. The science behind sound waves is rooted in physics, specifically in the study of acoustics. When an object vibrates, it creates a disturbance in the air particles around it, causing them to oscillate back and forth. These oscillations are what we perceive as sound waves. And if those sound waves are amplified or focused in a specific way, they can become powerful enough to cause physical damage. Some scientists have even experimented with using sound waves to destroy objects, and the results are pretty impressive. For example, researchers have used high-powered sonic devices to shatter glass and even break up kidney stones. So while it may seem like the stuff of legend, there's actually some real science behind the idea of sound as a weapon. In ancient times, different cultures believed in the power of sound to destroy and protect. In Hindu mythology, the god Krishna used his divine voice to shatter the enemy's army. Similarly, in ancient Greece, the gods were said to use their voices to create thunder and lightning. And in many indigenous cultures, shamans and spiritual leaders used sound and music to heal and protect their communities. The ancient Greeks, for instance, believed in the power of cymbals and other loud instruments to ward off evil spirits. And in medieval Europe, church bells were used to protect towns from invading armies. These stories and legends might seem like just myths, but they do show that our ancestors believed in the power of sound to shape their world. One particularly fascinating example of sound waves in action is the experiment with the death ray sound beam. In the 1920s, a scientist named Nikola Tesla claimed to have developed a device that could transmit energy wirelessly using sound waves. While his claims were met with skepticism, some researchers have since replicated his experiments and demonstrated the potential of sound waves to 